Americans are so fascinated with Lincoln and the Civil War period, and I think will be for a long time to come. Lincoln was an unusual president. I don't think there's been any other president like Lincoln. He was able to connect with all kinds of people. There were people who despised him and yet despised him because he carried such charisma and power, I would say. So he was this great statesman, but he wasn't a perfect individual and he was enigmatic. Even today, if I could have a dinner party and sit down with Abraham Lincoln, I don't think I would find the answers to the questions I have for him. That was part of, in a way, his gift as a diplomat. So he was um, incredibly charismatic, so brilliant in terms of the speeches he wrote and the way he articulated his ideas, brilliant enough to make the people who loved him love him more, brilliant enough to make his enemies despise him terribly. Um, and the Civil War, of course, which Lincoln led in many ways, was a, an event that has never been duplicated. Uh, in a way, it was the event that made the nation that the revolution didn't quite make. So the revolution and the Constitution started the process, but it really was the Civil War that made the Union. Now, that doesn't mean, that's not actually a happy ending. It doesn't mean we're all unified. It doesn't mean it's this moment of unity and closure. It means it's a moment of complexity, a time of complexity. All of the things that happened at the end of the war, Lincoln's assassination, resonate to the present day. Some of the very same questions and some of the very same really incredible hostility and antagonism. And I think because so much of those roots are from the moment of the war and reconstruction under Lincoln's leadership, we, we can't let go of it. We want to understand that moment in order to make some more sense of the present day. I've always admired Lincoln. I'm a scholar of the Civil War. He was an amazing president. Writing this book and seeing how his mourners responded made me, as a scholar, love Lincoln. And I use that word because I am echoing the words of his mourners. So once Lincoln was assassinated, and I'm reading through all these diaries and letters from this moment, people are writing constantly, we loved him. And they use that word, we loved him. Women write it, men write it, soldiers write it. And they, they compare Lincoln to a father often, a father figure. The, the soldiers often called Lincoln Father Abraham. Um, women sometimes think of him as a close relative, as a friend. People write things in their journals and letters like, um, even the death of my own parents didn't leave me this bereft. Amazing, yeah. Um, nothing has ever made me feel this terrible. Former slaves say things like, I felt as, one woman said, I felt as if my mother and father had died at the same time. And of course, an enslaved person, these are people who suffered tremendous losses. So they, they knew the metaphors they were invoking. They were very clear about that. And that made me, as a scholar of the Civil War, feel that kind of love for this statesman, this diplomat, this enigmatic, flawed character who presided over this phenomenal moment that I will never tire of teaching as long as I live. <laughs>